After watching this video, students will be able to create both a speech preparation outline and a speaking outline. There's a few things you want to do to start your actual outline. The first is to list your specific purpose. This is your specific purpose statement, and the reason it's there is to ensure that everything you do during the course of your outline supports your specific purpose. In this example, the specific purpose statement is in a speech on hearing loss, and it's to persuade my audience that hearing is very valuable, and if some precautions are not taken, then it may be lost forever. Following the specific purpose statement is your thesis statement. Even though noise-inducing hearing loss can easily be prevented, it is the number one cause of death deafness for people of all ages. Then, if you are recording your speech for online presentation, you want to include your YouTube or other link. You want to start the actual outline with your introduction, and you want to make sure that you label each component. So right here, you'll see that it's written down introduction. This is your preparation outline, so you want to make sure you use full sentences. And it's not a bad idea to label each component in your introduction. For instance, this is your attention getter, followed by reason to listen, thesis statement, etc. If you label inside the introduction what each specific purpose of your introduction is for, you'll always know, wait, did I do a credibility statement? Yep, right there. Otherwise, it is possible that you might skip a part of your introduction. And you also want to include your transition that goes from your introduction into the body of your speech. So here is an example of a tr transition. In the body, you want to include, again, restart the Roman numerals. So before we had I, 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 V, etc. But you want to restart it once you go into the body of the speech. You also want to make sure that you are orally citing your sources during the speech itself. For instance, right here, it says in a 1993 article from the American Family Physician, but Dorian Bone explained that TTS is caused by listening to a moderate level of noise in a short period of time. Now, if you've already, if you're citing a source that you already cited, you can just say that again, rather than having to repeat everything here. And when you move from your first point to your second point, again, you want to have a transition statement. Your second point will look a lot like your first point, but if you have visual aids, for example, you might want to note where you're going to be showing them in the speech. And then again, you want to end with a transition into your third point. The third point, again, looks just like the first and second points. Then you want your conclusion. You'll want to Make sure that it includes a review of your main points. You'll want to restate your thesis and then have some type of closure, such as referring back to the attention getter in your introduction. You also want to include a work cited. This is always going to be in alphabetical order, starting with A and ending with Z. Here in this example speech, citations are done in APA style, but they might also be done in MLA style. That's both acceptable. You can also use a citation generator like citationmachine.net that can help you with your citations. And this sample preparation outline came from a Central Michigan University student named Sarah Greger, and there's a link to the actual outline. Now that we know how to do a preparation outline, Let's turn that preparation outline into a speaking outline. The speaking outline doesn't include labeling of sections because there's not enough space to note your introduction, your conclusion, and your body. You want to make sure that you include all facts and figures that it might be difficult for you to recall. For example, we talked about orally citing your sources and your preparation, out, excuse me, your speaking outline might want to say, 
in a 1993 article from American family physician, Bedori and Bone, because you wanna make sure that you get that information right. But once you already have it, you'll just know that this here that says B and B refers to Bedori and Bone. This also notes when to show visual aids. That's especially important in a speaking outline because if you went through all the trouble of making visual aids, you want to make sure that you show them during the speech itself. Then you'll have the conclusion. You'll notice that in these three slides, the speaking outline is considerably shorter than the preparation outline. That's because the less information you actually have in front of you, the more eye contact you'll make and the more camaraderie you'll have with your audience.